All right, Jeff, thank you so much. A woman's prison already played with accusations of inappropriate relationships and drug smuggling. Now an inspection committee says the use of force there against inmates is skyrocketing. Kelly May has been investigating the Dayton Correctional Institution. She is live outside that prison tonight with more. Kelly. Well, Deb, 120 incidents of use of force here last year. That's up 60%, the worst in this state. Meantime, the state average is actually going down. But like you mentioned earlier, relationships and drugs, this is just the latest problem to report here. So we wanted to see what's being done to make it better. Use of force, staff getting physical against inmates. The Dayton Correctional Institution had just 15 reports in 2012. In 2013, 72 reports. In 2014, 120. The biggest increase statewide, and it's a women's prison. Which, you know, makes it even more concerning that there is a high use of force with, you know, potentially male staff members. The trend was released in a new report from the Correctional Institution Inspection Committee, CIIC. Niraj Antani was part of their surprise inspection at DCI this spring and says they found drug smuggling and sex between guards and inmates. That goes to show you that there are uh, ongoing systematic issues at the Dayton Correctional Institution. The new use of force report also exposes a major flaw, video evidence not being saved. There can be a big difference between what is written on paper and what you can see happen on video. So the preservation of video is key. We asked the CIIC what Dayton Correctional can do to reduce use of force cases on next year's report. They're asking themselves that same question. Have we taken other measures um, to both reduce the need for force as well as to reduce the likelihood that it will result in injury, whether to inmates or staff. Dozens of staff have resigned or been fired. A new warden was hired early this year. Antani is hopeful his next visit this fall will show improvement. You know, I'm trying to give the Department of Rehabilitation and Correction uh, the time to fix those issues. Now, we've also been digging into the personnel files on some of the staff that have been resigned or terminated over the last couple of years because of these issues. Of course, we'll keep you updated on what we find for now live here tonight. Kelly May Fox, 45 News.